Hi, it's Anthony from oqplay.com and today we're checking out the free silicone covers that you get from Oculus because of their recent program due to the skin irritation that they're getting from the stock foam interface. So with the stock foam interface, uh, this sponge is quite abrasive. It can probably cause some skin irritation uh, with prolonged use and obviously they're recommending that you get in touch with them and then they basically give you these silicone covers. So I've inquired and I've actually asked them to send me all the ones that they offer you. If you were to submit the two for their facial interface kit, you'd also get the original silicone cover that you get with the Quest itself. So what I've done is ask for these and then you get all three. So I can actually show you what you get how it looks, is it any better, and can you do better with a properly purchased silicone cover? So let's have a look at the one that you get by default, which is this one. This one comes in the box for the Oculus Quest 128 gig edition, and I guess it will be also rolled out onto the 256 gig uh, version as well. So just standard packaging, very cheap, just like the silicone cover that's inside. So we're gonna pop that out, not much information on the back, uh, just says to reduce skin irritation, read health and safety info. For use, cleaning and install instructions, visit the website below. And you've got oculus.com slash silicone cover. So pretty straightforward. And here is the silicone cover that you get with the system. Now, I thought they're gonna give you like VR covers or something very similar in that you'll get a nose piece. But unfortunately, uh, the free one that you get is not only quite cheap, uh, it's, it smells like it's medical grade, it's not smelly, but um, it doesn't come with a nose piece. So that's something to bear in mind if you're thinking you're gonna get, oh, I'm gonna get a nice free silicone cover, you're gonna get the best silicone cover that you can buy. So we've got our stock foam piece here, and um, just to attach it, you can put it on uh, with the headset attached to the facial interface, but I prefer to remove it completely, just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so they basically tell you to attach it on both edges. So you just uh, attach both edges onto the side. And then you basically feed it on, on the lip of the actual facial interface so it doesn't um, slide off. And then bring that over the top and then that sits underneath and then also attaches underneath as well. You've got these little flaps that sit inside. Not many silicone covers actually do this part. Normally it just comes underneath and that's it, underneath the foam. And again, that just attaches around the nose piece, actually on top actually. So this goes all the way over the top. So this actually attaches very nicely uh, and it's not actually gonna pull off either. So that's that's a a good addition. So with that attached to the stock interface, you should get less irritation if you encounter irritation with the stock interface. You don't have to use it, but I do recommend it because you can actually wipe this down should it get sweaty. Uh, if you're using any fitness uh, in your VR, then this is definitely going to get sweaty and you can just wipe this down with a wipe or a damp cloth and um, you know it's not going to affect the foam underneath. So once you've got this applied, this is attach it back onto the Quest, clicks into place, and then you are good to go. It covers it very well. It's really not gonna pull off as much. This kind of like lips over the top here, unlike some other silicone covers I've seen. And that is the free silicone cover that you can get from Oculus, and the one that you would get with your 128 gig Oculus and it will come bundled probably with 256 gigabyte version as well. But it's good, feels good. It's not that kind of rough material. It's quite soft. Um, it's nicely to the touch. It's not bad silicone cover actually. The only downside is that you don't get this nose piece material like you see here on the VR cover here. Um, you can get a silicone cover with this actually built in. And that would have been a nice thing if they actually included that but unfortunately uh, they didn't actually include it onto this model. Now I don't have the fit pack that they include, but this is what these two would um, come with. 
And basically they do like a narrow and a wide version of their fit pack. And these are the covers again to wrap around this stock foam interface that gets attached on top. So inside it's been designed to fit on a wide facial interface. You can scan this code for more information, but the back's the same, the front's different. And basically it's the same silicone material, but for the wider fit pack facial interface that you would get from them. Uh, again, no nose piece part. Uh, so it's unfortunate you don't get it for that, but you'll get exactly the same as you would with the, the ones that come with it on its own. And I take it if you do get the fit pack from Oculus, you'll probably get these bundled with it as well. Um, there really isn't that much difference from what I can tell, but it will suit, probably wrap around the interface a lot better. Kind of similar to this really, like the VR covers, you'll go, it'll just go over the, the fit pack version that you can buy. Let's just have a look at the um, QR code that it refers to. So the silicone cover, redeeming, how to request it. Product specs, so yeah, medical grade silicone, that's why it doesn't smell. Some health and safety warnings, and oh, what's it for? So this talks about silicone covers for the optional fit pack. So if you've already purchased the fit pack, you can you can uh, you qualify to, to get these as well. But I was able to select that option at the time of going through the uh, process. So um, if you've already got that, I definitely recommend it if you haven't got a silicone cover already. If you've obviously got a facial interface such as this, um, it's something I probably would recommend. Alternatively, you can actually go out and buy a facial interface if you've got skin irritation. Uh, this is something I recently got from VR Cover. They asked if I uh, would like to check out their latest um, facial interfaces uh, because I mentioned that it didn't click in so well. Now I thought uh, I'd take them up on that offer and I should to get the, the blue version that they do. I think this is the medium lowest thickness that I've put on here and it's super comfy. And just to confirm, it really does, you can see the stock interface here if I just do a light light press, it does quite easily disconnect from the interface. VR covers does really do, uh, it, it does take a little bit of effort, more effort than the stock interface, but it does clip in well, a lot more than the facial interfaces that I first got sent. Um, I think that's just been improved over the time and the, the material has improved as well. So they do click in a lot better than my previous versions when it first came out. So this is the nose piece that I was talking about earlier. You can get them built into silicone covers. I don't have any more on me anymore to show you, but it's very similar to this facial interface. Uh, and the best thing is with their own facial interfaces over silicone covers is you do get improved um, structural integrity of the facial interface itself which do sometimes come out a bit further, so it gives you a bit extra support, but it also comes with two uh, pads uh, that you can actually remove uh, and choose between thicker and thinner Velcro pads for your face. And this is a lot more comfortable than the, the foam option uh, and obviously the PU leather option on top of that. If you didn't use the PU leather, you've got obviously the ability to wipe this down as well. And obviously it comes in lots of different colors you can get red, you get a few uh, YouTube creator based colors as well. And um, you can choose between either the stock foam pads that you get with it, or you can actually upgrade and actually change the color of the foam pads as well. All right, so that's a quick look at the silicone covers from Oculus and a bit of a comparison as to what else you can buy on the market instead of using the silicone cover to help improve comfort and any skin irritation that you might be experiencing with your Oculus Quest 2. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, please leave a like down below and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the silicone covers or the VR cover in general or any other facial interfaces for the Quest 2. You can check out all my other facial interface reviews up in this playlist up here. Hit the subscribe button down below to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.